success, come on, let's play. Can we get it going? Uh, can we get it going? I'm already rolling up and up the list. Oh, I think that's E. Come on, let's play. Can we get it going? Stay right here, too. Come get on the steps. Mackenzie and I have been working on our co-parenting thing, so I wanted to make an effort and invite her and the kids over today. Hey. So we can build that blended family relationship thing I'm going for. So how are you feeling from all the drama? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mess, oh my the goodness. Mess. The mess, the, the great destruction. Oh my goodness, I feel fine. I mean, I'm good right now. At that time when I got into it with Morgan, I don't know, maybe I was already kind of like, feeling some type of way because of the energy like in the group. She came in with that mentality, like moving the name tag away from me. Sorry that happened. <sighs> no, that's, it's that's fine. That's just irritating. I, sh I really shouldn't have through the napkin. And maybe I feel like I just kind of took it a little too far. Cause I feel like if anybody would throw something at me, I automatically would have popped off, off too. Yeah. I'm the one who insinuated that they were being mean girls or that Morgan was being a mean girl. Yeah. So let me but come to But it's like they you. were though. And it's like, they do act like bullies. I feel like my whole entire time, like being known and stuff like that, it's been super hard to like find people that you can trust. Yeah. Or like, you know, allow people to be around me and allow people to be in my space. And I feel like for Morgan, I allow her to be in my space. I open myself up to her. And sometimes when you like super nice or or you seem like you're like not problematic. People feel like they could just, you know, talk over you yeah, or like or talk to you any type of way. Yeah, or talk like to it's you any type of way. Oh, she's not that kind of girl. I can boss her around. So I'm glad that you like let that be known. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm calm. I'm nice. I'm sweet. I've been cool with everybody, but don't f with me. Come on. How are you? Mm, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm just, just trying to process everything. Last night, Nick and Dwayne attended Raheem, Dwayne's brother's album release party, and Raheem was tragically killed. I know it's like really sensitive to talk about and stuff like that, but. Yeah. It's just basically Raheem had just dropped some music, and it was amazing. Like, we had a great time, but it kind of took a turn around like the end of the night. Some people walked in and was like arguing, basically complaining about paying $20. We all went outside, we was basically just going back and forth. And then unfortunately, Raheem ended up getting shot. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was bad, but it could have been so much worse. Like, it was actually a female that shot him, man. The girl before, before she got into it with Raheem, she was looking at Dwayne. She was telling him like, I'll burn a hole in your chest. Like, I'll burn a hole in you. Wow. And I remember looking at her and I'm like, if this bitch get any closer to him, I'm gonna whoop her ass. Like, yeah. And I'm so happy that my mom was there because she was kind of diffusing the situation. She was like pulling me back. My mom, she told me that I had this look in my eyes, this look that I get when I'm mad and I'm not thinking. And I feel like my mom kind of saved me and Dwayne in a way because I feel like if I would have started fighting, he would have went in defense for me. And I feel like just because I didn't do anything, that kind of saved him from doing what he wanted to do too. He's literally like yeah. my best friend. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like in a way it could have been him because he was so, he was going so crazy. Like, man, I just think it's a up situation. Like the whole thing is just so up. Yeah. I'm so sorry you're going through this. Give me a hug. It's okay. What have you been overthinking or who? Uh, Meek. I've been overthinking about Dwayne. Yeah. Lately. A lot. How are you feeling, by the way? Ah! This situation has definitely made me cherish the people around me and the people I love more. And seeing these ladies rallying around me and offering me support, even when we're not in the best stage, I feel like that's all I ever wanted in a friend group was for when times get hard, we, we are there for one another. It's just making sure that he's good and making sure that he's mentally like, okay. you know, okay. Yeah, no. And we all in this same space. We all understand what's going on and we send our condolences. And we all came in with an open mind of what not only you, but Mackenzie as well are dealing with, with Dwayne. And we still support you 100%.
You gotta get you some tissue, and girl. Don't be, and don't be hard on yourself ever. Cause like I said, he would be way different headspace if you weren't yeah. by his side during all this. <laughs> Can you go just think I'm not, I'm gonna hold it. I'm not. We'll turn it up in here. Life has been booked and busy lately, but I'm glad that my mom came back to visit and she brought Janae with her. Janae is my mom's girlfriend. She's been in my life for about 16 years now. She's super important to my life. She literally taught me how to read. And I look at her as a parent and a friend. How are things between you and Mulan? We good, we met up and talked. In general, I feel like in the future, Mulan, when it comes to me and my family or any of my personal business, do not discuss it with nobody. And I feel like I would do the same for you. Even though I have been giving you that respect, I still have to stand on my own two feet and take accountability. I could have been that person and I wasn't at that moment. It's learning, like I'm young. I haven't had a lot of real friends in my life. You know that. Mm -hmm. I think that your feelings are definitely valid, always. It's good that y'all communicated Mm -hmm. And, you know, y'all can kind of move accordingly. But yeah. your feelings are valid. I'm a strong believer of hearing people out, and I really don't like to hold any grudges on my heart when it comes to anybody. So if I feel like a relationship is worth fixing, that's what I do. You'll never guess who's been reaching out to me lately. Anthony has been, like, calling me a lot and, like, texting me a lot. You talking about your dad? Yeah. yeah. OK. Just get him to come out here and, like, spend some quality time. See if I get to know him, because I feel like I don't know him. And sometimes that kind of, like, hurt his feelings. But I feel like that's what we know him as, like, a stranger. Like, he don't even know how to spell my name. Like, he don't know how to say my name. He called me Antronique. I tried my best to make an effort to allow you to have a relationship with your dad. Yeah, I'm a witness to that. She's a witness <laughs> to that. I don't know what he was going through to make him feel like that he didn't need to be in his children's life because it's not just y'all. Every child that he's made since y'all, he's not in their life. He got like, what, 16, 18 kids? Well, I'm yeah, like, whatever, kids. whatever lady he was with at the time, I feel like that's the kids he entertained at the time. Yep. Growing up, I see my dad a total of probably like four or five times. I really can't remember. Him being absent in my life, I don't really feel like it took a toll on me because Janae was always there and she definitely stepped up. But nowadays, I am pretty curious to know a little bit more about my dad. Anybody else, this woman believes in who she is. I'm definitely not upset with my dad, but I am curious of why he stayed away so long. I'm just hoping that we can have an open and honest conversation. Daughter. How you been? Good. How are you? Thank you for coming. Uh, I don't really hold any like grudges against you. I just always wondered, like, you know, why you weren't there. Well, I had a rough life. Mm -hmm. You know, coming up up in Scotlandville, the area I lived in, you know, mm -hmm. it's nothing but drugs, you know, crooks, robbers. You know, drug dealers and all that. Then I got incarcerated and then I came back. Mom had someone else. So mm -hmm. That's what made me not able to come back into y'all life like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever feel like a little bit guilty of like not being there for like... I felt like I was guilty a long time. I have a lot of kids. And I know kids, they probably think that dad never loved them, but I always love y'all. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, the problem was the streets took me. I feel bad that my dad didn't have anyone to show him the way. Even though I was in the same position with him not being around, my father's absence has taught me that even the people that you love in your life will disappoint you, but if it's worth the relationship, you'll give them another chance. I feel like life is all about trial and error and coming back from your mistakes. So the fact that he's able to stand up and want to be active now, I can do nothing but respect it. <laughs> What you doing? I wanted to tell you about like how my conversation with with my dad. You know, I was a little scared. I yeah, felt like I was just yeah. Cause to me, he just feels like a stranger. And he was like, "Oh, you know, I love you," and giving me hugs, telling me how proud he was of me. Can you believe what he's saying though? He had twelve kids, and how this many is, do he really know? No, trust me, I get it. But at the end of the conversation. He wants to try, and I'm willing to, like, let him try, of course, and... Yeah, but you gotta make sure he in it for the right <laughs> reasons. Yeah. Like, you established now. 
you have built a, a great platform. You was only raised by, you know, your mom and Janae. Uh -huh. And for him to just like jump in, right, man, it's kind of like weird to me. When somebody was an absent father, it's, it's like you, like a whole new person. I never knew. Yeah, and I, I gave him so many chances you. to be there, even like when I got, when I grew up man, and you I got didn't pregnant take with the Kaza. Chances. He didn't even know Kaza's name. He called Kaza like cow or something like. Just from not him not being there. Yeah. It's like, why now? Why this chance? Oh. I hear what Dwayne is saying. Actions do speak louder than words. If my dad is serious about reconnecting, then he will take the steps to make it happen. I feel like when people are younger, they kind of live a fast life. And once they get older, they kind of see what they missed out on. And yeah, everybody deserves a second chance. But it's just a good you conversation. You Why? Right you don't want to give me a kissy? Right give me a kiss. You had a great talk. Mm -hmm. I love you. Yeah.